What up, what up guys? So welcome back to another episode of the pros and cons of being a real estate agent. Today I want to give you a big con and it was the biggest con of my career. It ended up being a huge pro after it was all said and done, but I want to talk to you about kind of just give you a little piece of um, what I went through when the market crashed and I lost everything that I had. So I got in real estate in 2002. A lot of you know my story. I was 20 years old. Um, by the time I'm 23, I was a millionaire. Um, that's only because the market completely blew up and prices doubled in a couple years. It wasn't because I did anything special or had any magic key or was doing anything crazy. It was just because literally the market just surged so high so quickly. And I just got in the, the, the beginning stages of that wave and just rode it up. And uh, felt very blessed, felt very lucky. Um, you know, I was working really hard and I was being honest and I was trying to really make it happen. But being 23 and becoming a millionaire, you make a lot of bad decisions, especially if you've never had money, your family's never had money. So uh, I didn't really know what to do. So the golden rule for me growing up, and my, my, my parents always told me, you know, real estate is the golden rule. I mean, that's what you do when you have money, you buy real estate. So I started buying real estate. Um, I was I was borrowing a lot of money to buy this real estate, and um, I was flipping properties. I uh, wasn't buying and holding. I was buying the real estate to flip, and that was the problem. I was I had no long term plan in mind for my investing. It was all short term investing. Uh, it was short term investing, and I was borrowing a lot of money to do it. So I was over leveraging myself short term. Bad idea terribly bad idea. So that's literally, there's two things that took me down when the market crashed. It was the debt that I had in place with the properties I was trying to flip. And as the market turned and went down, I got caught with properties that I couldn't turn around and sell, even for what I had, the, the money I owed on them, much less get back the money I put down or make any kind of profit. So that was a real tough, you know, situation there, how to let some properties go. Um, so, you know, I lost those. But then on the tail end, after I lost everything, the tail end was is that I couldn't sell properties as a real estate agent and make commissions to make a living. Okay, so when the the what I realized there was what I always say, and I look back and realize that it was all about the deal up to that point. I had to find out what the true meaning of all this was, and it was that I realized that it's relationships over the transactions. You know, and everything to me was transactional. I was just trying to get people to do deals and close deals and sign listings and, and me make money. And when I started to focus on the people and the relationships, my entire life changed. Everything started to go up from there. So um, it took me having to lose everything read 100 books, study the market to realize this, and then it took me years and years and years of implementing this to get back on track of where I really wanted to be. Um, so everything was a slow process for sure. Nothing happened overnight. Even when I realized everything and I thought that I really had it, I still had so much work I had to put in to get there. And I feel like I'm just beginning, really. I feel like I have so much further to go and so much more to learn. Um, so I'm always learning, I'm always adapt adapting, I'm always testing things out, trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work. And the market and the world is always changing, so we've got to adapt with it. But I wanted to make this video about um, the pros and cons of being a real estate agent, and that is this. In the beginning of your career, if you find a lot of success really quickly, that could be a good and bad thing. The bad thing is, is that you could get overconfident and think that you know you know it all, and you could get caught. All right, you could get caught in a bad way. Um, you know the the experience and longevity of the business uh, comes from experience with all the different kinds of markets that you're going to get hit with over a couple decades of being a real estate agent. You know, um, <clears throat> we have had one huge crash um, in my career. I had a small mini recession in 2010 when the BP oil spill hit us. Um, and that's where I realized what I learned in the big crash really works and I can make it through any market. That's when I moved to Remax and said, sky's the limit. I'm fixing to just be number one and crush everything. 
but um, at the end of the day, um, I want you guys to, to stay grounded and stay humble. And, and you know, if you find a lot of success quick, don't get in over your head. Continue pushing, continue trying to learn, continue getting those real life experiences under your belt and, um, you know, just continue getting better. You know, I want you guys to get 1% better every day. Um, that's 365% better in a year. And I love that. Um, that's really the story of my life. I'm always just trying to get 1% better every single day. So um, you can lose it all tomorrow, and I know that. Um, I know that all, everything I have now, I could literally lose it all tomorrow, and I'm okay with that because that's not what makes me happy. What I have does not make me happy. What I know makes me happy. What I've experienced, um, you know, where I am with, with my skill level of learning how to adapt, learning how to communicate with people, so on and so forth. That's what makes me happy, that I know that I can start from scratch right now and build it all back tomorrow, okay? So just, uh, I just want you to get out of this video that, um, you know, always stay humble, always stay grounded, always stay grinding, always stay learning. Um, don't ever think that you're too good um, to do certain things. I still show every property. I still go to every listing appointment, every inspection, every closing. I still do all those things because I know that I'm not too good to do those things, right? So just keep the grind going. Keep hustling. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. I got your back. Let me know what I can do for you. We'll talk to you soon.